Okay, let's do this thing. If you are brand new to my channel, welcome in. I'm so glad to have you here. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I am bringing you a buy now video of vintage purses and even vintage risky purses. So these are very old purses. And so you will see in the video what I'm talking about. Please make sure you do all the YouTube things. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment down below, regardless if you buy anything or not and make sure you are subscribed and ring that bell for the notifications of when I go live or when I do a video like this. So we are gonna get into it. The way this works is if you see anything that you like, I will have a number with that purse. Just comment down below which one you would like. If you are brand new to my channel, you've never bought from me before, all you need to do is send me your name, your, your real name, your YouTube name, and your PayPal email address and I will send you an invoice as soon as possible and in that invoice it will include your shipping so shipping is not included in the prices so please wait till you get the invoice to pay and of course if you're one of my regulars I will always add that to your invoice if you have one open so without further ado let's get started let me show you these purses all right guys this is number one this is all Czechoslovakia beaded made and I guess you could kind of use this as a cover or a patch on something if you wanted to. But look at the gorgeous detail. This is all Czechoslovakia glass beading on here. And it's just a circle. There's nothing super unique about it or what it's for or whatever. But you could definitely use it to like cover a mirror or if you want to add it a patch to a purse or, you know, add it to a jacket. I can see that being done. But this right here is going to be your first one, and this will be for $10. There you go. All right, guys, the second one is also from Czechoslovakia, and it is a vintage beaded purse as well, like a little wallet or a coin purse, but you see all the beading right there, all the detail work. And it does have a snap button closure. So you just unsnap it, open it up. And right here, it does say made in Czechoslovakia. Nice and clean on the inside. Remember, I do have some rescue ones in this batch. So I will show you the details when we get to it. But this one, there's nothing wrong with it at all. It's in excellent condition. Here's the back of it. Just beautiful workmanship done on this. So this is going to be number two, and it will be $20. All right, guys, kind of like that number one. This is a vintage copper glass beaded. And again, you could use it as a pouch if you want to, or as a cover of some sort. I looked this over to see if there was anything that you could do with it. Uh, but I did not see anything, but here's the back of it. Again, nice brown copper colors, all glass beaded right here. Again, it is vintage, and this will be for $5. Guys, this one is a vintage beaded purse. This one, I think, will be have some flaws, but not as much of a rescue as some of the others I'm going to show you. But again, lots of beaded work to it all the different colors here and everything that comes down to the fringe sea beads glass down here at the bottom and then it kind of has like a drawstring style purse itself the strap right here kind of has where it's unraveled a little but nothing a major and then on the inside of here there is the inside of the purse so it's just open. Definitely want to put anything super tiny in here that could fall out. But this is very old and vintage 
very, very pretty. Uh, this one will be for $12. This is gonna be the fifth item right here. Again, lots of detail of beading work. Again, another vintage purse. Again, this one isn't super bad. Uh, so I would not consider this as a rescue purse, but it does have some wear on it, as you'll see, like right here, for example. I'll bring it in closer for you. So right here, you see some beads are missing, but it's still a very well-kept purse. The handle itself has been worn some as well, as you can tell down here towards the end. Here is the other side. The other side is in excellent condition. You see nothing is missing here. But super pretty purse. It does have the snap right here. Open it up. Here is the inside. The inside has some to be desire. Has like an old, which probably was a pocket in it. But someone that knows what they're doing could absolutely refinish this purse and be able to redo this inside that knows what they're doing or you can just leave it that way because it is vintage so and this one is fifteen dollars all right this will be number six again another vintage purse all beaded all glass beads as well but look at the design of this one you got the royal blue red green and yellow in there and then it's got some fringe beading hanging down here. I'm sure they're not all there. Um, and then on the other side here, you do see where some of the beading is missing up here at the top, but the front is in excellent condition. Again, someone that knows what they're doing could easily maybe stitch or whatever you call it to put those beads back on there. So that's that right there. Uh, but the front of this, or what I would consider the front, is in great condition the beading, everything's there. On the inside, uh, let's see, it's nice and clean on the inside. So better looking on the inside than that first one I showed you. Again, just your wear and tear, because it is a vintage style purse. It does have the kind of the drawstring look to the bag. Uh, this one is number six and it will be for $15. All right, this is number seven. I think I've sold one like this before, but it's a coin purse and it's got like the crocheting in the background, but the royal blue beads there on the front. And then here is the back. Again, some of the beads might be missing because it is a vintage style purse. So some wear and tear. Looks like you had a place where you could put like a chain right there. Open it up. Nice and clean on the inside, no holes or anything. Uh, it's just kind of up here at the top, maybe detaching a little, but other than that, it's still in great condition. Uh, this one will be for $6. This next one here, I absolutely love. Royal blue in color. Back it up just a little there for you. Again, drawstring style there. But look at the the beading detail on this one. Super pretty. Look at that. Again, it kind of fringes at the bottom as well. Here is the other side. Again, the other side looks very well. Looks like everything's there. Um, no known tears or anything. There might be a few missing from over here, but nothing of major notice. But great purse overall and then on the inside is nice and clean as well no tears nothing coming separated so this one I wouldn't really consider a rescue vintage style purse but it's super pretty love the blue and this one I would sell for $15 this one I would definitely consider a rescue purse as I mentioned but it's very old so it's a little bit more fragile than the others. I didn't know if y'all would like these or not, but I thought, well, I'll bring them on and see if anybody out there would like to buy them because you can easily buy them. And then maybe if you, you know, if you're good at doing this kind of stuff, you can fix that area up probably even better. I'm sure you could probably find close enough colors that go with it. On this side, it also has an area where the beads need to be put back together. 
as well. Again, you have that drawstring style at the top and then gorgeous blue on the inside. So the inside is perfect. It's just this outside that we need to be done. But again, it's vintage, it's old. So we will do this one for $7. Vintage ornate metal handle frame beaded purse. And so I'm gonna bring it in closer so you can see what I'm talking about here. So you got the beads. Some of them have kind of lost their beads down here at the bottom. Again, very vintage. The handle itself is just gorgeous all by itself. You got these stones there. And then the centerpiece right here definitely is where the money's at on this one. And you can see where the side of this one purse is kind of sticking out right there. But I'm sure stitching it back would hold it in place. And then here is the back of the purse. It is coming down from right there a little, I believe. You got the little chain. And then... Let's open it up and let me show you what's on the inside. Yeah, so you can see on that outside over there, this just needs to be stitched up. Again, these are very old purses. Same thing on that side as well. So, someone that is super smart in how to repair these vintage purses can probably make a heck of a lot of money on them once they are fixed. So, this one will be for $20. It is Czechoslovakia beaded purse. So here is a closer look at the workmanship of this purse. There is no holes or anything, no missing beads on the outside. It's in great condition. Here's the other side of it. Super cute, not too big, but not too small either. And then here is the inside. And right there, it, said, it tells you that it's made in Czechoslovakia. Got your tag right there. And so this one, the zipper does work. So this one right here, and it will be for $20. This is a vintage beaded steel purse. And this one is very vintage. It does need some work to it. It's what I would consider a rescue. We'll zoom this in so you can see the details. So like right here, you can see where it's kind of separated there. And then even along the side here. But still a super pretty uh, purse. The detail of it and everything. The detailing of the steel here at the top as well. Flip it over, let's look at the back of this one. So the back up here at the top needs to be probably stitched in or repaired there. Uh, same thing over here and down here as well, where you can see where some of it's coming undone right there. Again, just beautiful metal that's done on this. And then on the inside, again, probably just needs to be totally relined. But still a good purse, just needs some love and some work done to it. And it will be for $10. This is another beaded purse. Again, it will need some work. So another rescue style purse. It does have a few of the fringes down here. Um, some work over here as well. But the detail of the handle and everything is just so nice looking. Let's flip it over. Over here, you do have some kind of coming down here at the top. And then you see the back side of where that was happening from the front. Let's open it up, take a look on the inside. Definitely would have to be relined on the inside as well. So this one's definitely a rescue one. But again, it is vintage. Some people don't want to mess with these. They want to leave it, preserve it the way it is. Um, so this one will be $10. This one I think is in pretty much decent condition. Maybe a little couple of areas that need to be touch up, but this is a silk line French micro beaded purse. I love the colors of this. You got the blues, the pinks, the golds, and the burgundy in this. Super pretty. You got like a slinky uh, chain for the handle. So up here is probably about where I would think that you might want to maybe do some repair or leave it like that. 
just flip it over and look to this side. So this side, I consider the front, again, looks fabulous. And then the detailing, once again, on the purse itself is just so pretty. So you lift this up and you kind of push up and it releases to where you can open the inside. The inside's in great condition. It's very well taken care of. There's no holes or anything. So just those few things that you see are probably it. You just push it back in. That folds that flat back down. But this will be for $30. This one has got the the golds, the coppers, the burgundy, the green, just beautiful fire polished beading. Looks great on the outside. You got the fringes going across right here. And it comes down to this ball with the fringes hanging down. And again, there's one there that probably needs to be repaired, but other than that, it's in great condition. Bring it over to the other side. Again, great condition. I did leave this little note on here. I've never heard of this brand. It says uh, Joyce Carnival, if that's really what it is. And someone had a price tag of $135 on it. So again, it's a drawstring style purse. The inside could use some repair work to it and everything. There's some extra beads in here if you need them. Uh, but just the material needs to be touched up on the inside, maybe relined and so forth. Otherwise, it's a great purse, uh, still in a great condition. So I will sell this at $30. All right, guys, I will put numbers on the screen that shows you what each purse is. So here is another one, so very pretty. Does need some little tender loving care as a rescue one, uh, but the handle and everything is just gorgeous. So as you can see, all the ornate detailing and everything, and then it's got these uh, rhinestones there in the snap part. You got this chain here as well, but it's just so pretty. All that beading is there, and then we'll flip it over it's the beading is all here it just needs to be stitched back up in there is what it looks like to me again someone that knows what they're doing would have no problem with that but beautiful silk fabric on the inside and again as i said just this part right here would just need to be re put up and redone just on this one side so still a very pretty vintage purse especially looking at from it from this way. Uh, so this one will be for $15. This one kind of hurt my heart just a little. It is gorgeous on this side, as you can see. I'll bring it in. It's navy blue in color, and it's got all this beading detail work. You got the strap here that has a beading as well. So just super work on this side. And then you have the beautiful gold trim up here. And then when we flip it over, you got this little mess down here. So this is another rescue, one that would need to be taken care of. I'll bring that in so you can see. But it's just a gorgeous purse from the front. And of course you flip this open up here and then you can take a look on the inside here. Sorry, I wasn't watching my camera. So flip that, take a look on the inside. There might be a couple of holes in these pockets, but for the most part, it's in fairly decent shape. So this one, uh, again, is, is vintage. Super pretty on this side, absolutely loved it. Uh, but I'm just going to sell this one for $10 because of that big repair on the other side. All right, guys, I couldn't end this video without showing you a couple of Whiting and Davis purses. Uh, this first one has the gold mesh disco style, but look at the detailing of the top here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And then we'll flip it over. Again, there's no tears or anything, nothing be fixed on this one. 
just beautiful all on its own. We open it up, it's got this beautiful inside. Again, no holes or anything, in excellent condition. The people I bought this purse from sold me another one. They claim both of these are Whiting and Davis. Um, so this one might just be from looks to know that it's a Whiting and Davis. The next one I'll show you actually has it on the purse. If you're interested in that, $25. Okay. All right, and then next we have this other Whiting and Davis purse. It has a chain link strap there. Again, that gold tone mesh disco style bag. But this one I love. I'm bringing it in closer so you can see right here. It's got the rhinestones here. You lift that up and you just kind of pop it back all the way and then it opens the inside here from the other side. And there you go, nice and clean on the inside. No holes or anything, it's in excellent condition. Um, and then the Whiting and Davis mark is right here. Not sure if the camera will pick it up that well, but Whiting and Davis. So this one, I don't know if I showed y'all the other side of it, but here's the other side of it. Super pretty, I love this piece right here, the rhinestones. So there is that one, this is the last purse. Again, this one is not a rescue, it's just a vintage one, Waddy and Davis, and this one will be for $30. All right guys, that's it. I hope you found something or some things that you liked in the video. Again, don't forget to comment down below which one or ones that you would like, and I'll get you an invoice as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, don't forget to do all those YouTube things I mentioned at the beginning. And until next time, remember that the dream is for free, but the hustle sells separately. Okay, let's do this thing.